Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. We'll be doing another extreme clean with me and today we're going to be sticking just to my kitchen and I'm going to be using only Zaflora to clean the kitchen. So if you want to watch me clean and get some motivation then please keep watching. Are you pause when you talk? I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something. So first I'm just heading into my Sephora tray. I keep this under my sink and I'm just having a look through and deciding which scent I want to go with. Um, I chose the Midnight Bloom scent. This is a new one for me. I'm pretty sure I picked this one up in Tesco. Um, and then I'm just going to show you how I make the diluted spray um, option. I've had a few messages about how I actually mix my Zaflora up, so I thought it'd be perfect to show you. So I start with a neat capful, so just pour it from the bottle into the cap and then pop that in my spray bottle and then I'll fill the rest up with water. Now there are instructions on the back of the Sephora box and also on the website if you want to double check how much water um, with Sephora you need. So I would highly recommend doing that. But once I filled it up with water, I'm good to go. Now it might look like I start in a bit of a weird order in the kitchen but it's quite narrow and when we use the table um, we need to actually pull it out to be able to use it so what I, I don't have the luxury of being able to just put the chairs on top and then being able to clean so to clean the floor and the cupboards around where the table is I need to actually pull it out so that's why I'm starting in the area that you'll see me tackling first don't need you here to say you're sorry So the first job for Zaflora is going to be on the table. So you've just seen me spraying directly onto my table. Now our table is oak and I have never had any issues with spraying diluted Zaflora on that. I'll just pop a couple of squirts all around and wipe off with a microfiber cloth and it's, it's good as new, smells lovely and it's nice and clean. up I've cleared all of the sides down and I've got rid of things like the printer we don't need that at the moment because we're in school holiday so I'm not needing to print any schoolwork off so I've moved that away and then I'm spraying my Sephora directly onto my cupboard doors and then I'm just wiping over with a clean um, dish towel I have a basket full of towels and um, because I use quite a lot uh, during the day if I'm wiping things down I'll literally just use it and then pop it out to be washed I am finally home at last. I don't mind being gone on adventures for a while. So next up I'm going to be cleaning our toaster. So I've unplugged it from the wall and I'm just taking out the trays from underneath because they're full of crumbs and then I'll wipe that over. And how I clean um, my appliances, so the toaster and the kettle, I will get a new microfiber cloth. I have a big pack, you can pick them up from um, places like Home Bargains, B&M's, and they sell them in packs of five, even up to 10, and they're really, really inexpensive. So I always have quite a lot of either dish towels or microfiber cloths because I don't cross contaminate. I'll use different ones for different things. So here, instead of spraying the actual toaster, I've sprayed a few pumps onto the cloth, and then I will just wipe over so it's not getting inside of the toaster. If this is the first time you've seen any of my videos, then welcome. Hi, my name is Emma. I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I post lots of cleaning motivation videos and lots of other content. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Many places where the beauty never 
And then next up, you've seen me do this in lots of my other cleaning videos. I just spray from the spray bottle directly onto the worktops and this is our biscuit barrel here and I will just wipe the sides over with a minky. I don't then dry, I just wipe the Zaflora over the worktop and then it will dry itself while it sanitizes. Now this is what I was talking about when I said it might look like I'm doing things in a weird order. So I'm just hoovering this part of the floor and then I will mop it. Then I can put the table back and then I can move to the other end of the kitchen. It's just because our, ta our kitchen is quite narrow. I can't tackle the floor area in one go. For Friday's video, what I thought would also be really helpful is to film a video detailing my 10 favourite ways to use Zaflora in the kitchen utility area. So keep an eye out for that, that will be going up on Friday at 5pm. Another way I like to use Zaflora, you'll see me doing here, I've just sprayed the a new microfiber cloth with the Zaflora. I will wipe the chairs down and then I'll actually get the spray bottle and spray it onto our seat cushions. Um, it makes them smell lovely and it also sanitizes and kills any germs and bacteria. My heart is all you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Now I've put the table back, I can move on to the other end of the kitchen. So what I'm doing now is I'm just clearing these sides away um, and also behind the knife block, yeah, I always say I'm not going to do it but it happens every time. Any post that comes I just put behind there if it's things for Tom and I'm like oh I'll show him that later and then it just mounts up. So I've sorted through all of that and cleared that away and then I'm just um, drying all the glasses up that I haven't popped in the dishwasher then I can pop those away and then we can get to cleaning on this side. as I did on the opposite side of the kitchen. I'm just moving everything out of the way of the worktop, spraying it down and then wiping it over with my minky. And then I'm gonna be spraying directly onto the doors and the drawers on this side. And with the same tea towel as I used on the other side, just buffing over the doors. I have to buff it over rather than just leave it wet with a minky because if these um, are high gloss units and they look really smeary. So this is the reason why I don't use just a wet minky on the door fronts. Like I did with the toaster, I'm just wiping the kettle over. We don't use the kettle a whole bunch, but I do just like to wipe it over and make sure it's nice and clean and sanitized. And the same with the coffee machine. So I've just sprayed onto the cloth rather than onto the appliance.
onto the microwave. So the main idea for this video, I have under my sink, I have lots and lots of different cleaning products, but I wanted just to show you that you don't necessarily need to use a whole heap of different cleaning products, although obviously it's nice sometimes to use all the different ones there are. If you've just got something as simple as Zaflora, it can be used in so many different ways. So this is the main idea behind today's clean. So all I'm doing here, I'm not spraying the Zaflora inside of the microwave, I'm spraying it directly on another Minky that I have. Um, it's just so that I'm not cross contaminating and then I'm just wiping around and then I'm using another dish towel, a clean one, just to wipe it dry because I don't want to be leaving the inside wet. And then I've also just taken the tray and the dish out that sit inside of the microwave, given that a wash over with my dishmatic, and then I'm gonna pop that back in. And also, I do have a stainless steel cleaner, but I just wanted to show you that you can also use it on the fronts of the microwave also. So all I do is spray the front of the microwave and buff it dry, and it looks perfect. No smears, good to go, it looks amazing. Again, if you have seen any of my other Clean With Me videos, you will have seen me using Zaflora to clean my sink. This is another favorite way to clean my sink. So I'm just using my spray bottle, spraying it all over, and I've got a minky here, um, and I'm just wiping over the tap, the draining board, the side sink, and also the main sink. And then once I've dried that, what I'm gonna be doing is actually tackling my plug socket. So I'm using some soda crystals, and then I've just poured about a cup full into each plug hole. I've taken the actual plugs out. Then I'm gonna be using another Sephora scent in Hello Spring, and I'm using it this time neat, so not diluting it. So I'm just pouring a cap full onto each pile of soda crystals that I have and I've got my kettle boiling in the background and then what I'll do once the kettle has boiled I will pour it over all of that mixture and it will just clean and degunk all of the plug holes and it smells absolutely amazing. Okay, next up is the fridge. It is in desperate need of a clean inside, but I thought it, this clean had already taken me well over an hour, so I thought I'll just tackle the front. So I'm just taking off all of our magnets and I'm just sorting through all of the pictures that the kids have popped on the front. Then I'm taking my same spray bottle with Zaflora, spraying it, wiping it all over with another minky, making sure I get behind all of those handles inside the little drinks um, compartment. And then, because again, our fridge is stainless steel, I've got another dish cloth and I'm gonna be buffing it dry just to make sure it's not smeary. So I do use stainless steel um, spray usually, but I just wanted to show you, if you don't have that, you don't necessarily need it to make it look lovely and shiny. If you've just got something as simple as Sephora, it will do the job and it comes up looking lovely. Here with me, we never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go And now it's time to hoover this part of the floor. So I'm just giving the mat a shake off. And then I'm gonna be hoovering up all of the dog hair from Ronnie and goodness knows whatever that the kids have brought in from the garden. And then it'll be time for a mop and we are almost done. I'm not gonna lie. Don't know what I do without you. Maybe we could try, try to figure out a way to Past the side, I've realized I only want you. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. 
we never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Say that you won't go And there we have it, a lovely clean kitchen that stayed this way for all of about 45 minutes but that's the reality of having children at home. Now I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help support my channel and it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content that I'm popping up and if you're not already please subscribe to our channel and I shall see you in my video on Friday. Bye everyone! Come back to me.